Uh, g'day guys, welcome back to Historical Sewing Techniques. So in this particular episode we're looking at how to finish off a hemline. So as you can see here, my hemline is actually fairly raw. Now in a very early garment, as in kind of, I guess, pre-Roman times, that may have actually been, been acceptable. However, we're looking at kind of 9th, 10th, 11th centuries, and we're basing this particular garment that I'm sewing at the moment off a Hebity dress. So I want to try and keep this as historically accurate as possible. And so what I do is I simply roll the seam twice. Alrighty, the next part of this is the hemline. So from the second fitting, I'm pretty happy with the, the fit, the height or, or the length of, of this dress. So now what I'm going to do is look at, at the hemline. Now there's a couple of different ways we can do this. Very old historical garments would probably have been left um, just with a raw edge at the bottom. However, um, the time period that we're looking at really is 9th, 10th centuries and we're, we're basing this off one of the Hebity type dresses. So I want to try and keep this as uh, authentic as possible. Um, the way that I finish a seam like this and you can see uh, the raw edge is a little bit untidy like that. So the way I like to do it is, is simply fold it twice so the raw edge is captured within that second fold. And then I just do a whip stitch uh, around the, uh, the dress. So you try to pick up just like one or two threads from the... Um, dress itself and just use a very small knot in the end. It doesn't need to be anything crazy or whatever. Uh, whip stitch, I tend to keep my stitch width approximately uh, around about five or six millimeters wide. It's just a little bit of a painstaking stitch in terms of you do need to uh, you do need to just have a bit of patience with yourself as you as you sew. But it's actually quite a robust kind of technique, this one. And I find it works really well for me. Um, so... A garment like this is not something that I tend to rush. I, I like to try and take a bit of time over it and make sure I do it properly. And especially if I'm aiming for something which is sort of as historically accurate as possible, then I, I like to try and um, keep everything nice, neat and tidy. Alrighty guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, please like, subscribe and share and I'll catch you in my next video.